In this video, we will show you how to make bootable VHDX files using Windows. To create bootable VHDX files using Windows, you have two options. One, using command and command prompt. And the second, using disk management tools in Windows. And we suggest you to make bootable VHDX files using disk management. First, the requirement is to access the disk management tools you need to have windows pro version in here in windows home okay it will not find the application okay you can see here after that you can type disk management okay. this is Create and format hard disk partition in the control panel. Okay, with this disk management, you can click. After that, the disk management is open. Okay, you can see here. Now to create VHDX files for bootable, you can click action and click create VHD. Okay, you can have the VHD or VHDX files. Because in this tutorial, we create VHDX, just select VHDX, and for the location, okay, I will put into my desktop with the name where data. Okay, then click save. For virtual hard disk size, you can use megabytes or gigabytes. I select gigabyte. Let's try using one gigabytes. Click OK. Okay. If you are using the disk management tool, it's easy to see your disk. If you're using the common version, it's difficult. If you just uh, not technician and you don't want to confuse with the common. After look like this, you can see onto your desktop, the file has been created and in the disk management, the not initialized and unallocated 1 gigabytes after we create the VSDX. If you try to open, it will error. You can see that this image is an initialized content partition that aren't recognized. Okay, the windows not recognized because we don't initialize first. After that, we can right click in here and click initialize this. Usually, the booting process is using MBR files and it's support for older version also. After that, you can click OK in here. Then right click in unallocated and click new simple volume. Click next. Click next again. And then click next again. Select file system to FAT 32 click next and click finish now the volume is on F you can see here in here you just need to copy paste the bootable files in your disk or in your VSDX files and after you copy paste the bootable files, you can eject your volume or VSDX by right clicking and select eject. Now you will not see again your volume. And hope this video is fully for you.